For Princess Elizabeth and Princess Margaret Rose, it's the day for an expedition, and incidentally, the occasion for the first film made of them since the war started. Princess Elizabeth certainly is growing up. That'll be everybody's comment, whether expressed or not. And it's a pleasant further thought that the young heiress to the throne is able to enjoy the pleasures of childhood as detached as possible from the war. Delightful to all who heard her was Princess Elizabeth's first broadcast addressed to children who have gone overseas. All of us children who are still at home think continually of our friends and relations who have gone overseas, who have travelled thousands of miles to find a wartime home and a kindly welcome in Canada, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa and the United States of America. Princess Elizabeth, just a week before her 17th birthday, had come to inspect the Grenadiers, the regiment of which she is Colonel-in-Chief. It was the first public engagement which she has carried out entirely on her own. During her recent visit to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital for Children in Hackney, London, Princess Elizabeth was elected President. After she'd taken over from Lord Iliff, the retiring President, she made her first public speech at a meeting of this kind. Lord Eilish, ladies and gentlemen, I should like first to thank you all very much for the kind welcome you have given me today. At a British port, the name of which may not be disclosed, Princess Elizabeth, with Admiral of the Fleet Sir Andrew Cunningham beside her, launched Britain's latest battleship, His Majesty's ship, Blank. God bless her and all who sail in her. Princess Elizabeth is 18 years old on the 21st of April, and the date is a milestone in our constitution, for she will then assume the dignities and responsibilities of heir presumptive to the throne. If responsibilities of higher state seem far removed on this brisk morning, they are nevertheless a very near prospect. From now on, the princess will undertake many more public engagements. Apart from the occasion itself, the princess's birthday, what particularly distinguished the ceremony was the presentation made to her. This was a replica in miniature of the king's colour of the 1st Battalion, the Grenadier Guards, with her own monogram. Men from Aberdeen and two of them from New Zealand. And she talked to them about their leave and their homes before she entered the building for the opening ceremony. an MT training centre, Princess Elizabeth, now a second subaltern in the ATS, has been on a three weeks course of instruction. Like most army courses, this included some theory. A second subaltern in the ATS wouldn't normally drive a lorry or truck, but she must be able to do anything which she will require her drivers to do. The princess, who was on the eve of her 19th birthday when these pictures were taken, is at the wheel of a 1500 weight truck in convoy. Although she drives it with apparent composure, she had no experience of driving before she commenced her training. The King, driving with the Queen and the Princesses through streets of the City of London, was today leading the nation's victory thanksgiving. was in harmony with the occasion. It was a perfect spring day and the celebrations continued far, far into the night. We know, every one of us, that in the end all will be well. For God will care for us and give us victory and peace. And when peace comes, remember, it will be for us, the children of today, to make the world of tomorrow a better and happier place.